Welcome to Age Whiskey. My name is Dave and this is Josh with me here today testing out a new experiment. Hey everybody. And today we're testing out our UV aging chamber to see if it actually makes a difference on whiskey. What we have here is uh, this aging chamber that I built about a month ago. Um, we have two jars. One jar has been sitting out, same whiskey, same wood. And then in the aging chamber, we have the same whiskey and same wood. But this has been exposed to light, the UV light, for four hours a day. And there's been a fan on it to keep it temperature controlled. So this guy will turn on when it gets too hot and cool it down. So uh, we're going to go into just a few things um, to define what UV is. So this is the same kind of stuff that's used for black lights and some disinfectants. Uh, you're going to start to get into some serious disinfectants and UVB and UVCs. Um, but this is, this is something where they use applications, um, like I said, tanning beds. Uh, obviously, there's something that happens here. Black lights, detections from forging documents. So money, credit cards, that kind of stuff. They'll put a UV light over top of it. Something glows up underneath it. So what the theory is, is that if you expose wood to all this uh, UV um, radiation, then it's going to break down the fibers and allow the whiskey to seep into it a little bit more. I'm a little skeptical to see if this works. Um, there's been some patents that have uh, that have came out over the last couple of years, uh, specifically by um, Law Spirits, which is a company out in um, California that claims that they can rapidly age um, using a number of different things. But one of them is UV light, and I, I'm curious to find out if UV light really does matter. So we isolated it as best as possible, isolate away from temperature. Um, away from any kind of variance in wood. Like this is the exact same wood off the exact same board. This is the White Dog, uh, Buffalo Trace White Dog Mash 1. There is no char on it at all. So we took the exact same whiskey from the exact same bottle, cut it in half and split it between those two jars. All right, which one are we doing first? Let's do the, let's do the base, which is uh, my right side over here. So this is no UV. So first off, we'll nose it, we'll smell it, we'll see uh, just kind of what it is. We'll taste it. We'll just talk about kind of what what the flavors are coming through, and then we'll rinse out with water, and then we'll do the other one. So this one is no UV. What do you get on the nose there, Josh? Um, it's it, it's pretty strong. I mean, I can smell. It's yeah, it's very so. It's it's high proof. It's 125 proof. So if you jam your nose in there and it may burn out your uh, nostrils a little bit <laughs> right so, so um you, you can kind of get a, a feel for the whiskey how it's going to taste when you, when you smell it uh -huh. uh, this does not taste like it's going to be super smooth no uh, so some of the and remember this is only um one month we've been aging this mm -hmm. and also this has been sealed uh, in a mason jar so no oxygen is getting to it oxygen in my opinion anyway tends to mellow out the whiskey over time Sometimes you lose some um, some proof with that with the exchange um, in different scenarios, and there's a lot of different reasons why that happens, why it doesn't happen. But it definitely, in my opinion, does smooth out whiskey over time. So this is only one aspect, and and you know there's a lot of discussion out in the industry right now about how this is oaked and not aged. Okay. So makes sense. Is what it is. Um, but yeah, I can get. Get some of that very slight cinnamon in there. Okay, I can get that one. You get that, and probably the brown sugar a bit. See any of that? Like yeah. when you first crack open brown sugar and jam your nose in there, and I don't know if you ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm the weird one. All right, let's give it a taste. Thanks, sir. So it's got a little spiky start to it. Kind of cools off the backside. Yeah. And then it feels like it comes back a little bit mm -hmm. to me. So it, it kind of went down yep. and back up. Um, it, it's actually a bit smoother than I thought it was going to be. I, I was expecting it to be a very hot whiskey. And I, I didn't didn't get a whole lot of that there. So some of those cinnamons and um, you know kind of spicier type of drinks can hide a lot of alcohol content quite a bit. All right, you ready to try the other one? Yeah. So this one, I think, looks a bit lighter. Ooh, that's a good point. Should probably show what they look like. So this one's a little bit darker than mm -hmm. that one is. So I don't know what that means. Now, when the UV light 
hits it, Dave, is it, you said it breaks down a little bit. Is that actually opening the wood up so that more of the liquid kind of gets in there and touches more of the wood? So it, it depends on what, who you talk to about it. Um, if you're talking about UV light with heat, heat definitely expands it out. And that's, that's primarily what people are claiming when they say they're aging with UV light. But um, it doesn't necessarily expand it. It just breaks down the connections between the fibers. So, okay. and in, in a, a molecular level. So you see like when UV hits us, it actually crushes our DNA. Okay. And that's why we get some skinning and that's why we get some of the, you know, some of the crazy aspects of, of sunburn. sunburn and okay. being partially ginger myself, I know exactly <laughs> what that feels like. So let's go into this guy. Oh, the nose is totally different. Mm -hmm. It does smell completely different. And this one, again, smells to me like a, a very smooth bourbon. Yeah, I'm not getting those harsh cinnamon vibes on here yep. at all. <laughs> maybe some honey. I'm going to say maybe a little bit of honey. Um, even maybe a little bit maple syrup. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's a touch of that maple syrup in the... Yeah. I'm going to say, looking at the wheel, um, if I had to pick one thing, I, I, I think that's what I'm getting, is somewhere between that maple syrup and the honey. Yeah. That's interesting. Let's give it a taste. Wow. It had a very consistent all the way through, I think from the beginning to the end, um, but as opposed to the other one that had like that up and down um, throughout the taste. Uh, this one looks like very, very smooth the whole way through, I thought. Boy, man, I'm, I'm impressed. I thought UV light was bullshit. I'll be honest with you guys. I thought, <laughs> I thought it wasn't a for real thing. And um, boy, this, this tastes significantly better mm -hmm. than the other one. It, to me, I feel like it's more of a subdued flavor. So it's almost like there's oxygen being pushed into that, where it's kind of like allowing some of these extra flavors to kind of come out and, and and open up a little bit more, but not not have as as pungent and as strong as this guy. That's that's just our control. So I don't know, man. This, yeah, the the control one feels like something I want to do quick, but this one feels like something I want to have sip, more throughout the day. Yeah, yeah, sip on. Throw out a cigar throughout the evening. I think we have it. UV is a thing. It is definitely a thing. Like I said, you can you can see the difference just by looking at the, the jars. Um, and definitely, even with the jars open, you can smell the difference. It definitely changes it. For sure. No, thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me. I'm happy to take take part in some of your experiments. This was a this was a neat one. Yeah, I'm I love that build, man. That was a lot of fun putting everything together, wrapping it with the tin foil and everything. That was cool. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, if you get a chance, I'm going to link to this right here. We're going to put a link to the project document, which is this guy that has all the details uh, about the experiment. If you ever want to learn and you'll have some of my final thoughts on there. Eventually, we're going to switch over to some kind of blog style, but right now it's just Google Docs. If you can think of a way for me to do this a better way, uh, like Josh and I were just talking about, hey, let's wrap it up, put it in the, the container together. Um, and maybe have some kind of different way that you know radiation or UV kind of affects it. I know a couple of people were talking about using a different type of light where the UVA kind of spectrum isn't really a good space to be in. Maybe we should move it into UVB a bit, but um, you know, anyway, if you have any suggestions, throw them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate you guys, uh, your feedback there. And then if you've done this experiment before, if you put whiskey in a window or something like that, let me know how you feel about that. I'd love to know more about that because I think Bearded and Board was talking about doing that kind of stuff. So please tell me more. I'd love to hear more. All right. Now, like we always do, cheers, y'all. The better whiskey. Yeah, have a good one.